Welcome to Science, Health and Healing Encyclopedia. I am Dr. Majid Ali. The title of this video is a question posed to me by one of the viewers. What is the relationship between oxygen and inflammation? So that's the question, my short answer. Oxygen governs every single aspect of inflammation. Inflammation is a process without which no healing is possible in the human body. Inflammation is also a process which is involved in creating and perpetuating every chronic disease known to me. If, you, if your interest is sparked by these simple words and the way I'm speaking them, then I encourage you to consider my free course on inflammation and my free course on oxygen. Over and over again, I'm told that the health information about health is so contradictory. No, it isn't. For decades, American cardiologists said eggs were bad, and for decades I said that's nonsense, and now even Time magazine in the closing weeks of 2014 or maybe it was a week or two later. On the front, on the cover was a story, the picture of eggs, and they said, now you can eat all of the eggs that you want. The science of nutrition didn't change. The science of oxygen didn't change. The science of the healing benefits. Eggs is an excellent example of healthy protein and healthy fat, which is so necessary to prevent diabetes, to prevent obesity, to prevent heart disease. So what do you do? when the experts on the radio and the television and the magazines seem to contradict your, themselves all the time. I believe that if you truly understand the basic, basic scientific facts of inflammation and basic, basic sec, scientific facts of molecular biology of oxygen, you know, if you just spend, uh, let's say, over a period of six weeks, tell yourself that I'm going to find 12 hours over a period of six weeks to test Dr. Ali's contention, that if I read, if I watch, let's say, 10 videos like this on my oxygen course and my inflammation course, and if I read 10 articles on alihealing.org, if you do not have scientific background, and alihealing.org, if you have a strong scientific background, I would welcome that challenge because I know that once for all, you will be armed with the basic scientific facts to tell yourself when somebody is fibbing when they tell you that this fact of nutrition is scientific and this is not. You need to know, well, you know the reason why you need to know. We have a tendency to look at the claims and not look at the people behind those claims who are trying to sell us one thing or the other. If you take this friendly challenge from me, I don't think you will feel betrayed after finishing this study. I thank you. Please share this video with your friends and family. Thank you again.